Hello everybody, so I wanted to make another little video and show you this switching or switcher power supply that Piano Disc um, used to install on their systems. And if you have that particular supply, plan on replacing it because it's gonna go out pretty soon if it hasn't already. So um, once you get a replacement power supply, this is exactly what it looks like and that's exactly how you install it. Really simple. And with this particular piano, notice it's a high definition silent drive system and which is really beautiful really nice there's the iq box but what's what i wanted to tell you about this particular system is that every one of them has two ground straps there's one ground strap there that comes from this hd unit right there and there's another ground strap here that comes from underneath the box so that's why obviously i supply two terminals for you so you can plug those in and it just it's just really slick, really sweet. Then you'll notice that I also send that adapter right there and notice this plug on the end. And this six pin in right here, see that six pin in? That's what used to plug into the switcher. So you just take this six pin jack that I send you and plug that in right there. I send that thing with a piece of Velcro on it. So just stick it on the side you know, on the beam. And then you'll notice that the piano already has this connector that used to plug in to the switcher. And so with this supply, it has an output, which looks just like this. See that? So just plug that into there. Oops, that cable's in the way. Let me move it out of the way. Plug that into there like that. See? And then plug, once again, plug this into that. And then the second you're done, come over here and push the test button and then all of the keys will play and then the solenoid will fire and then after all of that happens push that test button again and then you'll know that your piano is good and you'll know that all of the driver boards and all of the solenoids and everything that's inside underneath this box you'll know that all that stuff is okay um don't push the reset button but once the testing is done, then just push that test button again, and then you're good to go. Then you really should watch a video on YouTube on how to calibrate the IQ system. It's called learning or learn. And so L-E-A-R-N. And what that means, see the fourth, see that option over there, the fourth option? That actually just means to calibrate the keys so that each key plays at the same level, the same soft as possible level, if that makes sense. And a good rule of thumb, at least in my mind, is to just adjust it so that every key plays as softly as you could play it if you were sitting there playing the piano. So anyway, I just wanted to show you once again this how beautiful this power supply, how easy it is to mount. And um, just one last thing, when you remove the old one, make sure you go over to Home Depot or Harbor Freight and get you one of these. And the old one was right here and what you want to do is grab this clamp and put it on there like that. See that? And then clamp it together. And then it'll hold that one in place while you pull it off because it's heavy. And you obviously don't want that thing falling on your face. So anyway, hopefully that helps. And thank you. And we'll talk to you guys later.